can't really... I mean, the, the thing is, you can't really... You don't want to build defensively on the Ember Spirit, right? Like, mm -hmm. you don't want the Yule Scepter to be able to at least get out of that. Um, maybe eventually you can, again, rely on that Grimstroke with the, uh, the Ag Shard Inkswell to be able to break you out, but that still takes three seconds, right? You might be dead in that time. And again, like, these are two pretty greedy supports in terms of, like, they're not ones that like to build for the rest of the team. They build for themselves. They build to make sure that they do their job. So I feel like it's very important that Hellraisers are looking to punish this. At least this time around, unlike game one, it's not just a Queen of Pain that's able to get in onto the back lines. You've got the Night Stalker as well. You've got that... I, I feel like Night Stalker has to be that initial initiation. You know, force maybe an early Glimmer Cape or an early uh, Ghost Scepter or a BKB or something like that. Or maybe a, a dog, you know? You never know. <laughs> Hello. No one can <laughs> underestimate on, the power yes. of a beautiful puppy dog. I wish <laughs> I wish she was on the camera. Denied. I just right get denied all the time in Stella. my pubs. <laughs> she's on the panel. Away. Yeah, she's just walking away. She actually hates us. <laughs> she came what? over. She gave us a sniff and she's like, I do not want to be here anymore. What was that? Oh god. <laughs> what was that? Hellraiser's dropped. Oh Jesus. <laughs> I was gonna say go to players. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we got left? Uh, oh, the disruptor. disruptor being picked up. Yeah, yeah. More impact than that greedy, TM. We didn't greedy. see it. Greedy for sure, but more impact than And we're not going to see a sanking. I'm sorry. It's Sheep. fine. They burned it out. They respect it. I, I, that's honestly feels even better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they burned my sanking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were worried about me. They were so worried, but I don't know. They could probably pick... Oh, I was about to say they're not going to drown because you're against this Ember Spirit, but, well, seems like they're still going to do it. <laughs> Good thing I didn't say it until I just admitted it. <laughs> so then how do you like it? You, you were going to say that you didn't like it up against the Ember. It, does that still ring true? Um, no matter what <sighs> they end up picking, kind it's going to struggle? Again, like what Sheepa was saying, right? You, you want to get it on top of the Drow Ranger to inhibit her effectiveness. But if you do that, all you really need to do is that tree and protector is play close by because Drow, you might want to get a gust off. That'll force in a BKB and then you just overgrowth and kill him, right? So... I feel like uh, it is a lot to ask from uh, no one to be able to have a great game this time around. So I feel like, again, kind of what I was asking for Hellraisers in that game number one, you do need a secondary way to be able to get it onto the back lines. Now the, the onus is on Na'Vi to have not just Ember Spirit that gets that. Sure, eventually you're going to get a Wraith King with a Blink Dagger, but it might be too late. You know, a Drow Ranger is great at pushing. You might just lose a bunch of towers and maybe one lane of racks before you get to that point. I don't really know why I want them to play, like... A lot of it's banned, right? So. Yeah, that's, I'm literally looking at, like, I'm thinking, like, oh, I'd love a Mars ban. I'd love a, a Centaur ban. I'd love a Sanking ban. Like, Tidehunter's still in the pool, but you don't want to lane Tide into Drow. It doesn't feel good. Yeah. But they do need, like, team fight. Or they can just pick no like and throw Stella, <laughs> she did it. <laughs> <laughs> we predicted it with the power of the puppy dog. Yeah, I was thinking like maybe a Lycan, right? Because it is someone that loves to rush the back lines. It's a lot of the time you just need someone to stand on top of Drought. Like they don't even need to kill her, they just need to inhibit her effectiveness in the team fights. But it you are still of course vulnerable to the likes of the overgrowth. So we will see what they're able to do. I'm this game is on whoever is able to punish the enemy supports harder. I feel like you've got mm, more potential on... God, it's hard to say who's lineup. I Maybe. Like Navi more. Yeah, Navi's lineup has a little bit better just because you've at least got a, a stun combination with the Ink Swell, whereas there's n just like a void on uh, Limitless to be able to maybe start to punish them. Oh, Razors can do Roche easier, though, is the nice thing they have with yeah. the bugs and Drow. Oh, I, I mean, once you get Desolator, right, it's not too bad. You've got the, the Howl on Lycan as well. That's true. And I think Solo built a Solar Crest as well in uh, in that game number one. So you're going to have a lot of Minus Summit to be able to do it. I think Na'Vi can take true. it, but yeah, you're right. I, it, it's, <laughs> pretty, it's pretty even this draft, Okay, to be actually, honest. that's a good point. I think the bigger thing is this is all going to revolve around the Roshan fight. Yeah. Yeah. I look forward to seeing it, but I know two people who are looking more forward to seeing it, and that is Lyrical and Trent as they take it away for game number three. Thank you so much, Nat. And yeah, Trent, we're here. We're taking a look at game number three. You mm. were so sure that they were going to pull the old switcheroo <laughs> on Navi uh, oh, no. and pick <laughs> No, <Spectre>. don't reveal. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> the big strats. Those are my later. secret strats. Okay. Listen. Uh, yeah. Tell it, tell it, tell the people. All right, there's no happening. reason to third pick Wraith King. All right, anyway, it's fine. <laughs> they got to get away with that. I, I thought they wanted to really give General this Wraith King, and he was just going to play Dragonite skeleton style. 
I'm yeah. a little disappointed. Oh my god, I just it realized happened. I talked about that last game too with the lack of the. Wow, you I was did. really on to this something. Is what, it's because it's always played. Oh, uh, it all would have came together if he had just taken this wraith game. But alas, general's no. not playing it. They take the like and another um, classic counter numbers wise, at least to the drow. You just get on top of her, ruin her ability to uh, play drow, and uh, we'll see if that's enough. Even if he's uh, not going to let them pick Spectre one uh, versus drow, even though that hero is yep. really bad right now. I think that hero is mm. cool. I don't know. The Aghanims to me still just seem like really insane. But there's oh, no Spectre true. in this game. We don't need to talk about it. Uh, we could. can talk we a little pause bit. Anyway. That's true. Yeah, we can talk about other things that have to do with the actual game. Do, um, do you know um, what Spectre's win rate is in 7K pubs right now? And like, uh, you know, that? Dota 2. I me, believe me, it's me, actually, it is. It I is, guess. in fact, the lowest. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. Okay, so that's some info that you're giving me. It's the lowest. Yeah, it's the lowest. 43% lower <laughs> what really it's it's currently 41.6 percent win rate Ooh, I in was 7k close. plus games i was two away that's super close but, okay yeah but the window is pretty small it's not like it's not like you could be like oh man it was 20 percent darn <laughs> like that's come on. true i mean the so real... what's the what's the highest let's let's do this as a comparison so you okay, said 42 all right, all right well okay but the highest is actually disgusting cover your ears um if you are young in the audience it's actually arc warden with a 64.6 percent win rate now keep in mind really? that's because it's always the spammers that's that pick crazy. them in 7k plus and yeah. it's also like people who are just picking him for a good game now mind you specter's also typically a hero that you only pick when it's a good game um, right. when she's not like super broken so it's yeah. kind of shocking that her win rate's that low people are basically just trying yeah. to force the hero it feels like um yeah. and obviously these two heroes are very very relevant to this game going on right now it doesn't have either of them yeah <laughs> so let's uh let's get into the game that actually matters well uh, it actually is relevant i'll tell you why because drow me. ranger is a good hero right now and you know what two oh. heroes are really good versus drow ranger our four inspector yeah and you know what else is lichen Lycan's pretty good. I'm liking that. Uh, you're just gonna let me hang there for a second. I mean, I mean, honestly, like it's been done. You gotta let it go. Yeah. All right. I did it off camera. You're uh, you're barking up the wrong tree. Is that the treant one? Is that what you're trying to? No, it was a double. Oh, because it's a dog. Because he's a dog. Yeah. 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 See, now that's talent right there. This is and interesting. Yet, neither of us will ever measure up to Lacoste. Yeah, that's right. Speaking of it which, can't though. Be done. Uh, they were talking about Stella a lot, I think, uh, during the, the panel work that was going on, which is the mm -hmm. BTS dog. I think they have speakers around, so I'm going to try something. And you got, all have to tell me later on the panel if it works or not. <laughs> Stella, sit! All right, we'll see if it worked or not. That, that's the, you didn't the even say good do. girl. Good girl! That, that's yeah, it. what's that? <laughs> Thank you. Jeez, okay. come on. Give I her just, some props. I wanted, to see. I wanted to see if it happened or not. Maybe there's a chance. Nonetheless, game is out and on the way. Uh, we do have the Lycan against the Drow Ranger. Uh, the other one is, of course, the Ember Spirit, which you talked about. No one has just been an absolute stud so far in each of the previous two games. Gonna have to do it on a different hero. No puck this time around. Oh, true, but another classic for sure uh, from no one here. Always down yeah. to watch uh, one, of, one of these high-level Ember players. I feel like everyone's really good at Ember when they play it because, like, I don't know. This is a fun hero to spam. I feel like most mid laners have taken him for quite a few spins in the old pubs. Well, he's almost always relevant. There's very few times, I feel like, yeah. in the past couple of years where he's not been, like, one of the more played heroes. He even got to be four for a while. That was exciting. Yeah, true. Unless uh, it is down bottom, at least for now. Uh, we'll keep our eyes on that one. Um, some potential early uh, deforestation that we'll be seeing again, although they didn't make the way down here to do it already. So Malady actually going to have a decent start to this, giving a couple punches there to Aloha Dance and chasing him through. Oh, man. Getting full advantage with that orb, too. Yeah. The orb oh, com no. uh, combined with the drow. Oh, Malady. Wait, are they going to be able to do something here in general? Ah, it's not quite enough. <laughs> it's uh it's a bit tough early because uh there's no cripple right so you can't actually contest the uh the tree like if wolves had cripple then uh the malady just wouldn't be able to do anything yeah but if they do get a big dog goes yeah, that starts to become a little bit stronger up top uh night stalker weaver so gilgear playing not rubik this time around and 
going to try and have a, a decent time in lane against the the v-tune solo combo uh, that we've seen a couple of times recently this disruptor with the spam out of the thunder strikes no uh obs words behind the tower either for the weaver so i'm not able to get the courier snipes oh i say that and then delivery right to the disruptor but gilgir not gonna go for it and probably why not uh, still even throw out the thunder strike there just to try and ward him off of the courier yeah, yeah much needed I guess that's one thing. He could have chased down the, the Weaver and stayed right on top of him and maybe even gone for a kill. That long yeah. cooldown. It's Gucci, who Gil Gear is making the move up again. Does have bugs. Swarm Just is stopping ready. the pull. Oh, bottom lane, though. Going for a kill here on the Aloha Dance and uh, the Inkswell onto the. Trying to... Who's going to die first? Oh! oh. <laughs> Barely gets it right before death. Still, though, they take down the carry. Yeah, I think it's worth it when you get the first blood, though. Okay. You know, that, that's such a big boost. Like 250 gold. Oh, wait, how did Aloha Dance get the kill? Uh, His flying Inkswell? projectile killed? No, because Inkswell had already gone off, didn't it? Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it had. I, the stun had come out. Yeah, it must have been a projectile. Oh, that that's sucks. That's nuts. I thought it at least went to the Lycan. <laughs> Damn. Well, nonetheless, oh, kill gear. oh, he can't get that courier either. This guy just doesn't kill couriers or something. I feel it's, like that's like half the fun of playing Weaver Four. Right, is the ability to to make those moves and like actually get back behind the tower. I don't know if the if they got dewarded or what exactly happened with that early obs. Uh, it doesn't look like because there's no sentry, so no. Oh no, yeah, it, I, I don't think freebie. he placed one. Yeah, he's he's got some now though, but it's just like. You know, lanes right now are essentially a, a battle of wills of who's going to buy the most regen, and you can actually just win that battle by killing their courier. So yeah. that's uh, that's why I still really like the Weaver 4. Uh, outside of the fact that it's just, you know, very solid right now with the eggs and the swarm, it's just uh, there's not a lot of heroes that can really target couriers like that. It's basically just like Weaver and Marana right now. Right. Well, and they were able to get a nice little pull off here. Uh, Limitless does manage to connect on in and take up most of these creeps, so it's still fine, but it's putting the lane in a better spot for V-Tune, uh, which is definitely a big victory. And so far, Na'Vi looking good across all three lanes. Quap is only slightly ahead. Does have eight denies uh, against the Ember, which is a little bit rough for no one, um, but it's not translated into like a huge lead. It's half a level as Limitless just going to die. <laughs> just going to die. <laughs> it's off there. That's such a good lane. That's, that's quite good. Uh, meanwhile, mid, though, uh, pretty even, but except for these denies, as you can yeah. see. Uh, highly motivated because of the Arcana and getting that sweet question mark right now. Hmm. And uh, really, really just pumping these in. The other factor here is that Ember, of course, uh, needing to go for the 0 2 3. When he farms the small camp, if he stacks it, it's so easy for Queen to steal because uh, she's going to have the scream damage uh, versus him just trying to, like, she can basically play around the timing of Flame Guard. Because uh, yeah. what you'll see them do is they'll flame guard in the lane to avoid any punishment from uh, the queen. Then they'll run to use the le the rest of the flame guard as I'm gonna keep talking while Lola Dance dies to come and He's kill the dead. stack. But uh, no one is just uh, chilling over there because he can't even contest mid. So has to just farm. Sad life for this Ember. Sad life. I mean, you know, dude, he, he is did. poor. He is lowest on the cores, 1800 net worth. Yeah, I guess that's true. I, I, I was thinking that the levels were not like that big of a, were like the main issue, but I guess also that's leading to this like net worth lead as well. I know. You're um, looking at the last hit. It's like, well, what do you mean? He, he's on top. Right. It's like, yeah, but. <laughs> right. True. He's like 600 gold behind Queen. Solo, able to get out of there. And then a refill bottle uh, for no one to come back in. I mean, this is going to be hard for him to even come into lane now. I, I, oh, is that OBS in range that sentry too? He, he just got that placed. It's so close. Yeah, I think might it's have been. Oh my god, Gilgir so oh, dangerous from nice. him. Oh, nice. Damn, dude. I don't know if he can stay here. Like, I, I feel like Rebels is going to be able to like keep bullying him a bit. And yeah, he can't even get these last hits. <laughs> He's this just taunting his way to the small camp. All right, back I go. Okay. Damn, dude. That's okay. Ooh. It's Ember. It's fine. Isn't It'll it? all work out in the wash. <laughs> ah. Ooh. We'll see. 
See how it goes. Wait, I mean, uh, are you what? concerned that he's not level six yet and Queen of Pain is level seven? I, Does I'm... that concern you as a as a viewer of this game? <laughs> no, dude, it was in range. Oh my god, they got that obs. All right, I'm very concceded. And now I'm concerned. That now, you know, dude, now it's she's uh, got that's a, lane bleed right there. That, that was a side lane ward. She is catapult. It's like pushing in on the mid right now. Although it's gonna leave afterwards. Uh, that's in the meantime. It is nighttime, so Limitless up top and also down bottom. They take down General. Okay, that's a big win for them. Limitless, got to be careful. Backing away, trying to survive, and we'll be able to. Jeez, what level is that Living Armor? Just level one. I mean, it's dangerous enough uh, to go on the uh, a Night Stalker at night, but totally ruining uh, the beginning of that for him. So is, is he just running home? Oof. Oof. All right, so maybe it lane's not going so well, but top... Looking pretty solid, and uh, unfortunately, though, the bottom lane also going great for Hellraisers. Watson is absolutely huge right now. Mm -hmm. Most farmed hero in the game. Rebel making the move to try and get something done. General is going to test Queen of Pain, but she blinks away. And, I mean, if he keeps going here... Oh, takes over the centaur. Okay. Uh, and freaks. now she's messed up a little bit. Well, in some trouble, gets the blink over to the that's, far side. That's not your side. I, I don't know. Sonic Wave available. Tries to throw it out. Kills off a couple couriers for the trouble, but oh, will eventually okay. get brought down. Oh, man. That was funny. Interesting. No one needed that. Gets the kill as well. So now he's just, uh, he's back, you know? Level seven and, uh, and a quarter catching up towards that queen of pain so hurting net worth wise all three cores really on navi are hurting that's uh where a lot of this gap is that you see up top in the 2k lead centered on those core heroes so um Wraithing, of course you know needs to just straight up farm it out not a lot of rotations coming out from this hero lycan unfortunately very similar i feel like these supports are gonna have to do some seriously heavy lifting for navi I, somebody is <laughs> I mean, it's not looking good anywhere i don't know I'm very concerned. At least they're getting some stacks up in the jungle. Solo laying it down as no one keeps the pressure. I mean, again, that, that quap kill is super important, but she's still mm -hmm. so high up in the net worth. And, like, I guess the other thing is the natural answers that they sort of have for Drow. Um, but if Hellraisers start getting off the mark and, like, you know, getting a ball rolling, it, things could start to look pretty bad pretty quick. I think they need to push down bottom with the uh, the lichen creep and just uh, okay. try and invalidate this tree pick. I feel like that's something that they can actually accomplish because right. what I'd like them to have would be a kill support duo, but they don't have that. They don't have like Bane Snapfire or something. They, they have Grim Disruptor. Good later. Not so great right now. Solo able to glimpse back Limitless, but uh, they're coming right back at him. Hello, friend. Did he miss those books? <laughs> Dude, what the hell is going I mean, on? It doesn't really matter. It's just really funny. <laughs> I mean, he lives. Like, so Solo is getting away because of that. I feel like they might have committed for the kill. And, oh, man, Hellraiser's just come on in to steal the last couple of those creeps away from B-Tune. I didn't know that we could I'm call sure. this the swarm a skill shot, but I, I guess we can. We take down the tree. Alady dies. Down bottom. Interesting. Very interesting. But you mentioned think, this. The pressure. Yeah, I think that was expected. Th this is what they can do. There's not a lot of things they can do with this lineup, but th this one is very clear. Easy part of the game plan. Are they going to defend? Killgear's here. Uh, doesn't actually have that much mana, though. So this is the one sakuchi has got available. While General is killing the catapult that's coming in, there's another one that they're going to need to tank up to keep alive. But they're bringing in more afterwards. The tree comes on in, trying to defend against this pressure that's being mounted. Heals up afterwards. And eventually, a couple last punches are going to come through and kill that catapult. So that will slow down the pressure on this tower immensely. Yeah, they did not commit very heavily to this push. Uh, like, no one was sort of nearby, but then he retreated back. Uh, there was no effort to bring V-Tune down or anything like that. So this will still uh, probably stall out. I don't know. I feel like they can bring, like, one more hero here from Hellraisers and actually stop this. Solo's coming down. So 
at least for now like again you're buying a lot of space for v2 to keep farming but you want to keep this pressure onto these towers and normality makes the move on over they drop down static storm catches there onto the weaver overgrowth gonna connect only on to solo and oh, Gilgir Gil trying out. to run away oh it's true oh, no, he kills the creep inkswell not gonna hit this tower is still living they're bringing in no one as well so a ton of space created and they get the deny even all right that was so much value that that was this was crazy value oh man if tree lived it would have been so much better though wait is he I living mean, yeah he's living <laughs> all right i guess they just don't have the reach i mean it's still tower taken which is important and they weren't able to get a return tower on hellraisers so that's Scoot. something into the favor of navi there they were farming a lot though i think like yeah. the, the other cores were all just hitting creeps and you don't have to send them down that tower that's not a tower you expect to hold with tree i think keeping it this right. long versus lycan is a win Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Oh, interesting stuff so where do you go from here now if you're navi i mean it, it feels like the the game number one situation where there are a ton of like you know early pressure being mounted and then the ability to take tier one mid was also uh super impactful but this time around mm -hmm. like it feels like it's much more skirmishy with solo and no one making oh, move up top. this is this might work out really well for them yeah uh, i like rotating the v-tune like this oh they missed the chains limitless though still has dark ascension but it's not gonna matter or will it okay runs away gets out Dude, he didn't glimpse uh and limitless just walks back into death but the rest of the team is coming in he could have gotten out of there sonic wave afterwards gonna connect onto no one he, he's out of mana has a slide but he's dead no one goes down v-tune does have armlet so some sick toggles are going to come out here as watson tries to just beat into him this whole time they're going to take him down once and with the rotation coming in from the tree afterwards and having a break there of a tp v tune is going to go down a second time as well so hellraiser's a, very nice move yeah great defense like sure the night soccer uh, still eventually dies but this was like a thousand percent worth it they bring all the heroes they're getting the tower after uh drow very happy to show up for a fight like this right uh don't think she grabbed any kills unfortunately but uh lots of xp 865 going to the weaver the queen and the drow huge stuff right now they did get that tier one tower mid that was a solid little split oh, push nice. going on there by general at the same time okay respect that's actually crazy good that that's actually insane versus the tree all right there was value rebel chase down a little bit glimpse pulls back now on limitless not going to go for anything afterwards yeah it's interesting i mean killing off no one is definitely big damn dude it just that damage. Uh, it actually just gave them so much value for this uh like and pick now though because it's like a game counter to the the drow and the tree when you're able to right. knock down those towers like that yeah minutes and a 2,000 gold lead for Hellraisers, but objectives into the favor of Navi. And Watson trying to get in towards a Manta next. I mean, it's going to be really interesting to watch if, like, this same dynamic exists going forward. If it's going to be, like, you know, taking fights with like and split pushing, or if they're going to start bringing General to the fights now that he's got this Helm of the Overlord done. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I think that uh, you just try and play off of this tower lead that you have and just kind of farm it up for a bit. I think right now they're not that strong uh, fighting. Like, like what no one's doing right now. This is how you win this game. It's very similar to game one where he was doing a lot of this sort of play too. Uh, because like the five man from Hellraiser looks good. Oh, don't die though. That would be very, oh. very, very bad. <laughs> this is how you win this game, Trent. <laughs> this is how you lose this game. <laughs> I mean, look oh, at this item, is, so dude. Good. He's going yeah. first item BKB. That you know, that that yeah. shows what he's trying to do. It's true. Yeah. Oh damn. Yeah, that one hurts. And one of the great picks or reasons to pick this drow here, like Gus, three seconds silence on top of the overgrowth and with no way to save right now. That was a huge opening for him. Yeah, it was pretty nasty. 
Jump in. Nope, they're gonna pressure mid too. Sonic wave, couple more punches in general. Oh, the deny. Don't deny him, don't deny him, he can regen. Oh my God. I wish they killed he's him. Really living. That's crazy. He's got a helm of the overlord, man. He's huge. Yo gear. They tried to jump onto him there. He was looking for a, a background pick onto the uh, Lycan, but he already TP'd home. Hellraisers, are they going to commit to take this tower? Doesn't look like it for now. Just going to let the creeps do the work. Well, no tower healing for Navi. They can take their time. Ooh, the fillet. The stone is out now for Hellraisers. That's uh, that's a weaver item. Think so? Yeah, I'd say so. I don't think we're ever gonna see an Aghanim Scepter tree in, are we? No, most certainly not. Okay. Mostly because it's just not that good. Yeah, that's fair. Cool, but not that good. Okay. All right, well, round two now for no one. He's got his BKB. He's ready to go. Watts in there. Gets the silence. Oh my God, Malady's waiting for it. No one's oh. like, you're not going to get me this time. Now, overgrowth. And now the chase in. Catches here onto one. Stun out, though, on the Limitless. Forcing him back in a way. Static Storm not going to connect, actually. Apple able to back away. Bullwhip is just on the ground. They pick nice. it up. <laughs> Value? <laughs> Who's was that? Right, that? That was Dyer's. Yeah, it has oh. been stolen. They got themselves a Bullwhip. Millis goes back in. Round two of this one now. The multi-shot damage out. Solo dead and no one. Forced to pop the BKB. These illusions doing a ton of damage. One with the long range. Mike Click of Rubble just jumps on top oh, of them. No one. Yogear looking for the chase down. Let's have another Sakuchi, but instead they turn onto a Loa dance. Turn now onto V Tune. One by one. Navi is getting picked apart. Yeah, Watts is just free. Whatever he wants to do. V Tune now. Kited killed. And he's burning. I mean, yeah, they do have the sonic wave afterwards. Watson taking some damage from the dragon, but it's not nearly enough. They kill off the Wraith King and Hellraiser's just all over him. You're expecting the Ember with this BKB to be the one who's like, like Hellraiser should be the one who are like scurrying around and kind of running and Drow can't get her footing. But instead, the Ember gets forced out early. They're just chasing down Navi and Watson's in the back just having the time of his life. He's like stutter stepping, A clicking everything he can see, just chasing people down one by one with the little clicks. And this uh this Wraith King who's so strong. Just wants to sit there and swing, but no opportunities to do so. And they will get a glimpse back here though. Okay. Weaver. I mean, again, it's not the biggest kill in the world, but you'll take what you can get at this point for sure. It's a mental win. They, they need it. They're six K down. No, the other mental win that you've got on Hellraisers though is the double whip. They didn't even realize it. Oh wow! They can, they can whip you once and whip you twice, and then you're just gonna feel it. You'll be like, oh man! It's like this debuff doesn't stack, but it's stacks. Dude, do they my stack? Brain. Do they not stack? Oh, okay. I, I doubt it. it. It should just refresh. One would think. I don't know. But I've you... never gone refresher bullwhip. <laughs> okay. Um, in, in all honesty. <laughs> You've never had one stolen either. I guess not. No, none of my items have ever been stolen. Okay. Just that good. They also put away the bullwhip. They don't believe in Fair. it. Maybe they gave it back. They're just like, yeah. there seems to have been a mistake. This wasn't ours. It's on the ground. They're leaving it behind. Well, nonetheless, this is uh, looking quite good for Watson, definitely. Has Hurricane Pike done already? And, I mean, with, like, these big, you know, a tree in there to sort of keep some separation with... Night Stalker that can be that front line of the fight. This is looking like kind of a great uh, Drow game. And, well, Solo going to be found. Going to be absolutely wrecked. And they can go immediately into Roche if they want to now. I'd say so. Should be the plan. Throw those bugs in and take it down really, really fast. Damn. Uh, Echo Saber is going to be back up for Limitless in a moment here after doing the disassembly for the BKB. So... Another just great Night Stalker game. Once more, showing the power of it here. And uh, really frightening for Ember. I mean, obviously, why no one has to go with this BKB so early. They gave up contesting though. here. Go Wanna slam run him. In. It's actually a good amount of time. Root going to connect there. Limitless. BKB has to run away, but just going to die. 
Now turn onto a Loa Dance, trying to kill off that Grimstroke, but it's not enough. The jump in, they find the finish, and the Sonic Wave! Oof. No one just dies! What's it came in with the punches? Navi trying to stand their ground, but with four dead and one coming back in just a moment, it's not going to be enough. Sometimes you should just let Roche be. Well, high fives all around as uh, once more we're just going to sacrifice the Night Stalker and take a fight win. It's a common theme of the day. And now yep. Drow going to take two goes uh, for uh, to finish off here with that second life. This is uh, this is looking super scary. I wish I could see uh, Wraith King's current hero damage. I feel like it's very <laughs> low because every time I look at him, yeah. he's just like walking. He's he's trying so hard. It's just not happening. Meanwhile, Watson's is probably oh! pretty huge. Did he not remnant? Okay, no, I thought that he he re tried to remnant back, but no, no one. That was a cool gust. I mean, if they had follow up there with the uh, the overgrowth, there was no BKB, so yeah, could have been something. Coulda, woulda, shoulda, mm. but it wasn't, Trent. It wasn't. Very deep stuff coming out here. Uh, AK lead. It's a deep hole. The Navi are gonna find themselves in here, uh, but luckily, oh wait, it's 8K. Raking can only make comebacks from 6K because it's six feet deep that he gets buried. So they need mm. to regain 2K of their deficit before they can get a contribution from VTune. I think the math checks out there. Like you said, deep stuff. Smoke Very up deep. now. I'm looking for a way to continue build up this lead. Rebel, smoke breaks. There's people around here. Blinks forward, finds one. Hello, Aloha Dance. I hear you like Aloha. dying. See, what you said That's was redundant. You didn't need to say hello, yes. Aloha Dance, you know? <laughs> right. Well, it was super redundant. But you also, also didn't have to say goodbye, goodbye when he dies. Yeah. We can just... <laughs> <laughs> this guy's exactly. a genius when he chose his tag. Well, where to next? Got General. I mean, he's trying to build into an AC. It, it's so interesting, right? Because, like, I feel like Navi's lineup should be able to just run at them and like fight and all that stuff but they just don't have their items yet as they're gonna get the courier kill up top while they're pressuring down bottom nowhere is safe on the map right now for navi I, I, I don't know i think it's just hard to let solo have an impact i feel like you need two like decent initiators and vision and stuff like he just gets ran at lycan oh. is an awkward hero yeah and I mean, they jump in. They want to try and find that kill onto the creep as well, but can't quite get it in time. And now Aloha Dance going to be chased inside the fountain. Sonic Wade laid down. They get the creep kill, get the hero kill. I mean, no one's just like out farming the triangle while everybody is dying. Tower's going down. I, I don't know. Where did it go so wrong for Na'Vi? Like, this looks like a completely different team. Is it just mid? Like, uh, what what went wrong there? No one is really I mean, hurting it's in this game. It it is, but I mean, it's not just mid. It's it's kind of a like a big factor of everything. I really do think that their support duo just can't operate with the allies they have. I, I feel like okay. there's a point in the game where the only three heroes that could do something would be their your five, your four, and your mid, because you have this like like an off lane that he can build helm and hit the tower, but then after that. I don't know, you need better setup than just Ember. Or, like, you need Ember who's way further ahead or something who's not so threatened this game and has to go uh, BKB first because right. they, they just couldn't contribute. Like, if you don't have a kill support duo, then uh, it, it's kind of tough to claw yourself out of that hole. Oh, my God. They're diving v tune. They force everybody Can't back again. They burn the ulti. Yeah. And instead, they get general. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh, both supports are gone. Jesus Christ, Melody. The revenge tour from game number one, 17 deaths. He's, <laughs> he's got 14 assists. <laughs> he's he's flipped the script. <laughs> Damn, dude. Th this is just over. Like, Navi lost. What the hell? Silence is out. Trying to run away. The Yule Scepter lift up, but tier three tower is going down. Hellraisers. Put on their game faces in this game number three. 
I mean, Navi, you got two teams at the bottom there, zero and four. That That's oh. good. Yeah. Uh, that will help them. I think Navi has also defeated both of them already. Right. So I guess that's not actually good news because that means they've just beat the weaker teams. True. But uh, hopefully that buffer will be enough for them. But uh, I, I got to say, climbing the top of the board looks really hard after this loss if they can't pull back this game. They need so much in the next couple of minutes. Like, obviously, Age is going down. This is a potentially, like, big opening for them here. But, I mean, we haven't really seen this this no one BKB be able to be put to good use. Um, what else is sort of on the, the horizon for them? Lyrical. These names. These names. Okay. Watson, Rebel, Limitless, Gilgear. Malady, yeah. Milady, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know how to say his name right. And Melody. then I'm seeing V-Tune. Solo, no one, Aloha Dance, General. These are like yeah. you know, icons. Some of these guys are titans of this. They they ran this league and this region for a long time, particularly no one in Solo, of course. Right. To, to see them sort of uh, struggling a bit here, it's, I mean, we're really seeing that next generation of players here in this uh, region, and whew, they have no mercy. No mercy. Oh, no, V-Tune. Oh, no. Say it ain't so. Man has a broom handle and he's got nowhere to go now. No, Tries, no, he can't even oh blink out. Yeah, man. That it that one hurts. That one hurts. The worst Holy part is, I mean, you look at the items and you're like, well, he's not wrong. Like that's just <laughs> <laughs> Oh jeez. Limitless is just doing the night stalker thing. It's like, oh, okay. Used void early there. Ends up uh, getting out. <laughs> well, he letting him know how he feels about it. He's like, well done, dude. He could have gotten that kill. Now we're having to just run around here some more, get more D-Wards. All right, all right. We have the strat. General's strat. found it. This is the turnaround play. He's not going for the AC. Okay. He's giving him the bite. Nice. Okay, I like that. Find a way to get on top of Watson. Like, honestly. Oh, no. No one BKB wants to run away. Ooh. They gotta Go wait. Over, they gotta wait. Unfortunately, he had to pop his BKB, but they need the Wolf Brothers. They need the pack. It's the only way. He yeah, is kind of close to BKB too. Like a thousand ish gold away, seven hundred. Okay. So we got yeah, BKB I mean on V Tune. He gets a little bite, a little tasty. That That is something to consider, right? Like, this dude, if he can stay on top of these heroes, like, he's going to chunk them. Drow definitely can get hurt. She attacks so fast, though. She also has 41 armor. That's yeah. kind of insane. Oh, no. The root, again, they got B-Tune. Going to punch away. Oh, oh B-Tune. Dude, there's no way. The Look, it was zoning from Rebel. Too. Look at this. Walks in, finds the finish. There's Yo, no chance for that? a bite. Why is he Death Prophet? Why? <laughs> it, it's too much. That was perfect. And now Watson's like, I've had enough. Time to go on in. Finish this one off here. Hit tier four towers. Come stop me. Now they do a buyback on Wraith King. No one going to jump in. It's a really good Inkswell stun onto everybody. Watson down low, but the Sonic Wave connects onto All right, three. All he gave him the wolf bite. Oh, jump for more. V-Tune's running back home. Doesn't want to get caught. They buy back, but the silence is out. Oh, he caught no Yo, one. Watson, please. Dude, Watson's He's so, so good. He's so strong. I'm so strong, guys. I'm so strong. V-Tune will get the kill, but they get the kill and then GG out immediately. Ooh, oh. GG V-Tune smiley. Oh, that's wow. nice. That, I'm sure that is just completely respect and love for yeah. another fellow carry. Nothing, nothing else to read into there, I'm yeah, sure. Nothing, nothing ever in Dota 2. Oh, That's why we choose to man. stay positive and optimistic about things. And uh, whew, that was kind of awesome. All right, Hellraiser look good. Yeah. I don't know what happened in that other game, but uh, this one looked good. This one looked very good. I, I don't know. Thoughts? Uh, like, was it just that, uh, again, game number one, it, it was interesting, right? Because there were like a couple of moments where it felt like they could have, uh, you know, maybe mm -hmm. put the clamps on and then they just didn't. They weren't able to fully. 
Um, do you feel like they were the better team throughout all of them, kind of? That's how I feel a little bit. I think that in game three, Hellraiser just like looked better. Like I uh, specifically like uh, Melody in terms of like how he changed yeah. throughout the. Uh, yeah, he fed a bunch, and that's not necessarily your fault every time on the hero and stuff. But just like this game in particular, yeah, I thought his positioning was. was really good. Okay, maybe he got the blink on the earlier end here too, just to help out with the fights and everything. And they just outplayed Navi. I think the draft was more difficult to execute. I think that if you don't win your lanes with this lineup. I don't know how you play. I don't know what Disruptor and Grimstroke do with Justin Ember, who has my BKB first, because you have to execute yeah. perfectly to get the side lane kills. They weren't able to do that. That one attempt where they tried to rotate to Vtune to try and use the Wraith King to get the kill in the Night Stalker, and then like swing the game back in their favor, and the entirety of Hellraisers just TPs up top, kills the four of their heroes, and takes a tier one tower was like uh. game over. The game from there is just so damn hard. And Watson played almost flawless. 8 1 and 13, he finishes this game. Mm. It's a good game. It was a fun one to watch. Yeah, impressed. And interesting to see Drow Ranger actually have some success. I feel like that hero is, uh, when you see it, it's either really good or really bad. In this game, it was yep. very good for Watson, very good for Hellraisers. And that's going to continue their streak uh, as, as this is going on. They they haven't lost yet, unless I'm just really bad at uh, being able to read this chart. But yeah, they've won against Virtus Pro at this point. They've mm -hmm. won against uh, Unique, uh, which I think is Mind Games now, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and now also yep. pulling together a win against Na'Vi. They're well on their way to making it to a major if things continue to break their way. But we'll have to see. Uh, and for now, at least, we're going to go to a quick break. When we get back, the panel's going to break down all the action. We'll see you then.